Greetings to all my friends on uh, YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video might, might be seen and shared. Uh, I wanted to make this video to tackle an issue that has been coming up lately on both the YouTube side of my social media life and the Facebook side. Um, and that is the uh, avatar, the icon, or whatever you want to call it that uh, pops up on, um, on YouTube and on Facebook, which is, um, uh, I changed uh, after January uh, 20th of this year uh, to an upside down American flag. Now, it pains me to do this because I would think that um, this kind of thing would be um, known. I mean, I've known about the what an upside down American flag represents um, ever since I was in my um, early teens. Uh, and I learned it through the Boy Scouts. Uh, yes, <laughs> I was a Boy Scout. Um, I actually got all the way up to Life Scout, um, if you look at all the different rankings. Um, life is, uh, I believe, if memory serves me correctly, is two steps below Eagle Scout. And then I um, I left the Boy Scouts. But uh, among the uh, things that they teach you in the Boy Scouts is something called flag etiquette. Um, uh, forgive me, I'm scrolling to the specific place I need to be uh, when I address this um, on my other screen. Well, it's actually over here. Um, to my left, your right. Uh, I learned a lot about flag etiquette when I was in the Boy Scouts, how you're supposed to display a flag, what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do, uh, how you're supposed to properly dispose of a flag that is worn out, um, uh, how you are not supposed to display an American flag uh, at night, uh, during inclement weather, uh, the fact that when you display a flag uh, among other flags that the American flag should be uh, higher, um, uh, higher up than other flags. Um, Another thing is like at sporting events when you have like a, a lineup of uh, flag bearers, one has the American flag, the other one might have a, the, the state flag or the flag of uh, other organizations. And when it comes time to saluting the flag for the national anthem, the other flags are laid uh, down, but the American flag is held tall, that kind of thing. You, you learned, I learned about all that decades ago. And one of the things I learned about way back when was what the meaning of of the uh, upside down American flag is and I will quote uh, I will quote from um, for USC chapter one the flag um, this is uh, title four United States code it has to do with the um, flag and seal, seat of government, and states. That's what Title IV USC covers. Chapter 1 covers the flag. And I refer specifically to 4 USC um, Chapter 1, Section, uh, let's see, 8, I believe it is. Respect for the flag. So Section 8 is divided into subsections or whatever, A through K. And I shall quote verbatim, and I'm going to leave the link to this website, which is uh, uh, uscode.house.gov slash blah, 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 blah. I'll leave that link in the description so you can go read this at your leisure. But I will quote, and I have to read this screen over here, over there, oh, over there, 
So I'm going to be looking over there and not at the camera. So forgive me for a moment. Section 8, respect the flag. Respect for flag. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move the window over to the main screen. So I'm actually looking sort of at the camera. Respect for flag. No disrespect should be shown to the flag of the United States of America. The flag should not be dipped to any person or thing. Regimental colors, state flags, and organizations or institutional flags are to be dipped as a mark of honor. Section, uh, I'm sorry, subsection A. This is the critical one. The flag should never be displayed with the union, that's the, the field of, star, uh, of, of stars. The flag should not be displayed with the union down except as a signal of dire distress in instances of extreme danger to life or property. Now, that can be, uh, well, before I go there, um, then it goes into things um, of the flag should not touch anything beneath it, as the ground, the floor, water, or merchandise, uh, and then all, a whole bunch of things about should never be. Uh, you can read them all for yourself if you want. Now, we're concerned with section A. Um, the flag should not be displayed upside down except as a signal of dire distress in instances of extreme danger to life or property. Okay, now, I am willing to stipulate that a personal belief of mine, and this is just my opinion, it's not the opinion of anyone else, um, I'm not going to speak for anyone else, I'm sure there are probably lots of people that believe what I'm about to say is more or less true, but I'm not going to speak for that. I'm going to speak for me. I am of the belief that right now, the United States of America is in a position of extreme danger to life and property. Now, why do I say that? Well, that has to do with my particular personal beliefs about how things are going in this country right now. And I am but one voice of uh, the last count of the U.S. Census, about 332 million uh, citizens and non-citizens, if the count is to be believed. But I'm but a lone voice. I don't have much of in the way of being able to express my belief that the country is in danger. Um... So I choose to express that belief by displaying on my Facebook page and my YouTube page uh, the American flag in the union down position, the upside down position, as a way of expressing to my fellow Americans how I feel about the current situation. Now, this particular icon, this particular avatar, seems to bother a few people, and I expected that. But what really amazes me is that uh, there, are, there are people who claim to be veterans uh, who don't know what this means. They literally are sending me um, comments that say, why do you have your flag, why do you have the flag upside down as your avatar? Why do you have the flag upside down for your for your uh, online picture. What does this mean? What are you trying to say? That's a little concerning because I would think as a veteran you would have learned flag etiquette as part of your military training, but maybe I'm wrong about that. I unfortunately was not able to serve in that manner. I have a couple of medical conditions that made that impossible. Um. But if you truly are veterans out there, you should already know this. And if you don't, then that's a concern in and of itself. But I'm not going to dwell on that. I wanted to make this video to explain myself to everyone. Why am I doing this? I'm not out to offend anyone. I'm not out to piss anyone off. I'm not out to get demonetized. I'm not out to get kicked off of any particular social media. 
Uh, I am merely trying to express an opinion, successfully, I might add, that I believe that this country is in grave danger from within by a very large, I think, too large a percentage of the uh, of of our national leadership and populace. So I'm going to leave that flag the way it is for the time being. Now I may decide to change it uh, for my own particular reasons, or I may leave it there. But it's my choice. It's my page on Facebook. It's my channel on YouTube. And this is, uh, you know, my right. Last time I looked, the U.S. Constitution was still somewhat in effect. Uh, freedom of speech, for the most part, is still a thing. Uh, when it's no longer a thing, then I'll revisit my position. But for the time being, um, this is my way of expressing my opinion of what's going on in the country. I'm sorry if it offends certain people. It's not my intent. My only intent is to express my opinion as to the condition of the United States of America in uh, 2020, 2021, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I hope I don't lose any friends on Facebook. I hope I don't lose any subscribers on YouTube. But if that's the way it's got to be, then I guess that's the way it's got to be. Uh, I would hope that we could have a discussion about it. Uh, I remember a time in my life, not so long ago, where it was actually possible to disagree without being disagreeable. Those days for now don't seem to be around anymore. I hope they'll make a comeback someday. But for right now, um, that's the way it's going to be, folks. Uh, and uh, I hope you all will uh, understand. Anyway, I just thought that this video needed to be made because it seemed to be on a lot of people's minds. And uh, I just thought I would explain myself a little better. And uh, from this point forward, when somebody asks me the question about why, I'll just point to this video and say, here you go. Meanwhile, uh, I hope you all have a good rest of the, uh, the day, the evening, the afternoon, whatever. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Peace.